Hey! In this tutorial I'll show you how you can customize any Hivepress template or template part with the custom code snippet. As you can see I have a local WordPress installation with the Hivepress plugin and its default listing Hive theme along with its demo content imported. Also, I created a child theme for listing Hive in order to keep the custom code snippets. As you probably know, the child theme is the best way to customize an existing WordPress theme and keep your custom code safe from updates and maintain it in the long run. You can check the link in the description to generate the child theme for listing Hive or, if you are a more advanced user, you can create a child theme manually. Also, if there are a few minor customizations and you don't want to create a child theme, you can keep your custom code snippets using the code snippets WordPress plugin that you can find in the description below. So, if you want to customize the Hivepress styling or layouts, the first thing you need to check is if it's possible via CSS, where it is possible we recommend to avoid customizing the templates via PHP to keep your code backward compatible and easy to maintain. So, if you just want to change some styling, hide some elements, change or reorder some sections, it's better to go with CSS first. For example, if you want to hide the listing date, you can do this by going to the Customize Additional CSS section. This is the place where you can store simple CSS snippets. The other option is to store them in the child theme style.css file. Ok, if you want to hide an element, the first thing you need to do is to check its CSS class. To do this, you need to open the browser developer console that you can open with the Ctrl plus Shift plus I key combination. Please note that the key combination may vary on the browser you are using. Then, you have to switch to the Elements tab and finally select the arrow icon. Then you can highlight any section or element on the current page. So, we'll highlight the listing date. As you can see, the listing date has a unique CSS class that you can copy and use for styling it. Also, it's important to check if your styles are related to some specific section or element and don't affect other styles. For this, you should check the parent CSS class. In this case, it is the parent container class. So, let's get back to the customizer and try to add our first CSS snippet. In order to hide any element, we can use the display none CSS rule. As you can see, the listing dates are hidden now and this means that our custom CSS snippet is successfully applied to the template styles. After you add a custom CSS snippet in the customizer, don't forget to publish the changes. That's how it works! So, imagine that there is no way to make the required changes via the CSS code snippets. In that case, the next option is overriding specific template parts via a child theme. For example, let's try to override the listing block titles. To do that, you have to view the Hivepress plugin directory. Navigate to the templates directory and find the template parts that you want to override. 
All template parts are arranged in a very intuitive way. The first level of directories depends on the entity that you want to change. In this case, it's listing. The next level defines the context that you want to change, and in our example, it's view. Finally, the next level of directories defines the layout that you want to change, and we need to change the listing block. As you can see, here is the listing title, the template part that we can easily override. In order to override it, select the template part and copy it to the child sim directory. First, you have to create a directory for the HivePress template parts and simply name it HivePress. Then, you can copy the template part that you want to customize to this directory, keeping the same file path as in the template directory. In the case at hand, we have to create the following path. Finally, we can copy the template part to the child theme. That's it! Now, the copy template part has a higher priority than the template part located in the plugin directory, and we can easily customize it in the way we want. Let's try to replace listing titles with some static texts and save changes. Now, let's check if this template part is successfully overridden. As you can see, all listing titles are replaced with the custom text we set. Let's imagine that you want to insert a custom block somewhere on the page or customize the whole page layout. You can do it by overriding the HivePress template configuration. The HivePress templates are defined as an array of blocks and you can filter them by the HivePress hooks. So. For example, you want to insert some custom button into the listing block. The first thing you need to do is to assign your custom function to the HivePress template hook. As mentioned before, you can keep your custom PHP snippets in the child theme functions PHP file or via the code snippets plugin. Let's try to customize the listing block template and add a custom button to it. Next, you have to set the template name that you can check in the HivePress includes templates directory. Templates are also named in a highly intuitive way. They always start with the template subject, then you can see the template context, and finally the template layout. If you want to change the listing in the view context, and you want to change the block, not the page, you have to customize this template. Next, we have to define our custom function that receives the template configuration and changes it. In order to override the template configuration, it's better to use the HivePress helper function named Merge Trees. The first argument is the template configuration and the second one is your custom array of blocks that will override the existing template blocks. Let's imagine that you want to add a custom button after the listing title. 
To do that, you need to check the existing template configuration and find the listing title. Then, you can locate its parent container and complement it with the custom block. It's important to keep the custom block names unique in order to avoid conflicts with existing blocks. Next, you have to define the block configuration to tell HivePress how it should be rendered. We are going to use the basic content type for this block and hardcode the content right away. Let's define our custom button. Also, you can specify the block order to define its position among other blocks. By the way, you can easily check the order of each block in the template configuration. So, now our custom button should appear in the listing block. Let's check it. That's it! As you can see, our custom block now appears in the listing template. In this way you can add, remove or customize any HivePress template or template part. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more developer tutorials.